Hi, my name is Bilar Sarul. I am a licensed real estate agent with Terranova Real Estate Group in Los Angeles, and I'm here to help you figure out the steps to buy a home in 2023. Step number one is to determine your budget. This is the most crucial step because it's gonna determine how much you can afford to spend on a home. You want to take into consideration any costs you might want to put aside for renovations and the costs that you want to spend on purchasing the actual property. Step number two is to get pre-approved for a mortgage. To do this, consult with your local real estate agent. He or she can refer you to a loan officer in the area and they're gonna be able to sit down with you, look at your finances, look at all of the information they need to be able to give you a pre-approval letter with your budget. The third step, or something that also goes hand in hand with finding a loan officer, is to find a real estate agent that you feel is a good fit for you, your needs, and the criteria you have in mind when searching for your home. Step four is to start looking at homes. What I would recommend is you go to open houses in your area, take a look at what homes are being put on the market for what price range so you have a better idea and you can also adjust your expectations or you just become more informed about what's available on the market right now. Alongside visiting open houses, sit down with your real estate agent and tell him or her what type of home you're looking for, uh, essentially in what neighborhood, again, your price range, and other criteria that you think is important. If you want a pool or not, if you care for a big backyard or not, or if access to a certain school district is more important for you. Step five is to make an offer. After you found your dream home, make an offer to the seller. This is where it's important to sit down with a real estate agent and talk to him or her about the different criteria you had in mind and exactly how much you wanted to put down for the house. Step six is to negotiate. This is great because that means the seller is considering your offer and it's important for you to sit down with a real estate agent and go over the terms of the contract, contingencies, um, anything that might come up. This is where you want to finalize with your agent and so they can finalize with the seller's agent so that the transaction is completely transparent and ironclad. Step seven is to get a home inspection. Once the seller has accepted your offer, you want to schedule a professional home inspection company to come and check the property and make sure that there are no serious problems. Step eight is to finalize the sale. Once the home inspection is complete and you've signed off on all the findings, now it's time to finalize the sale and close on the property.